Another great day here in Scottsdale. Hey, this is Alex Fisher, Director of Instruction at Camelback Golf Club and the Glacier Club in Durango, Colorado. Thanks for checking out my latest tip on how to get out of bunkers. And there's so many different ways and concepts on how to hit bunker shots. So this video is gonna kind of clear up a lot of those theories and kind of give you a simple approach on how to get out of bunker and also create a little bit more loft and maybe a little bit more speed. So stick around. All right, so let's get to it. So we need to hit these bunker shots a little bit differently to how you would hit like a regular shot. So one of the biggest things is that when we're hitting bunker shots is that we have to maximize the loft of the golf club itself. And it's not necessarily how you start in your setup with a club face. It's more about what happens at the moment of impact. And we have to educate the arms and the hands to deliver the golf club a little bit differently to how we would actually hit a regular shot. So what do we have to do? First off, we're gonna think about actually, like I say, maximizing the loft of the golf club. So one of the things we can do is we can go ahead and open that club face. And a good rule of thumb is that when I set up to the golf ball, I wanna make sure that the grooves on my club face are pointing out towards my left toe itself. Or if you're right-handed, obviously the opposite foot there as well. So we wanna make sure that we set the club face first, make sure that that club face is open, and then go ahead and grip the golf club. Now, we want to make sure that we do hit the sand before the ball just to deaden the blow at impact. So one thing we can do is just go ahead and move that ball slightly forward in our stance, maybe about two inches ahead as we're coming into to the ball itself. And if we move the ball two inches forward of center, guarantee we'll hit the sand before the ball itself. And then one of the biggest misconceptions I hear when it comes to bunker shots is making your swing steeper. And I think people get kind of confused with that. What we want to do is we want to maintain our plane like we would do on a regular shot as well. So I certainly wouldn't recommend making the club get any steeper in terms of the plane itself. So when we're actually hitting the shot as well, uh, we want to make sure that we have no shaft lean at impact. So one of the biggest things, and you've seen it in some of my other videos, is to come into impact and then just make sure that the shaft is leaning forward as we come in. That's great if we're trying to compress and, and trying to trap the ball in a bunker. That would be a kind of a nightmare because we'll end up digging the club into the sand itself. So this is one of those unique shots where we want to make sure that as we come into impact, our hands and the club head are coming into the ball at the same time with no shaft lean forward as well. So Shot's going to look pretty simple like this. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and move the ball slightly forward in the stance here. Let's go ahead, like I mentioned, maximize the loft of the club and just go ahead and open that club so that the grooves are pointing towards my A little bit of weight on my front foot that's going to help me hit down on the golf ball. But again, I want to get the feeling of that club head and the hands getting into the sand at the same time with no shaft lean. Another great thought is to make sure that we hit the ground more with the back of the club and less with the leading edge itself. And then if I want to create a little bit more height and, and uh, spin, I need to go ahead and be a little bit more aggressive with my swing and just create a little bit more speed as well. So ball slightly forward in my sense. I'm going to open that club face so my grooves are point towards my left toe. No shaft lean at address. And then we just want to keep that club face open throughout the swing with just a little bit of speed. And it'd be kind of a short, concise swing, but again, with a lot of speed. Keeping that club face open and just making sure that the hands and the club head come into impact at the same time. So if you kind of stick to those basic little simple rules, guarantee getting out of a bunker, create a little bit more height as well, as well as getting a little bit more stopping power, guarantee that's going to be a lot easier for you. So thanks for checking out this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel where you can see some other videos of how to deal with certain shots, but also some different swing concepts.